What's up, y'all? It's your boy Nathan Davis Jr., aka NDJ. I'm sitting in my kitchen in my brand new house, about to answer some questions for you guys. So if y'all want to know more about me, keep watching the video. When did you first go viral? My first viral video was the video I did with my mom. It was a remix to XXX Temptation on Changes. What's your favorite part of the social media process? Brainstorming, collaborating, filming, or posting? My favorite part of the social media process will have to be brainstorming and collaborating. It's cool to brainstorm with a group of people because everybody's throwing different ideas. And it's cool to collaborate because people bring a certain type of energy to your videos. What's your favorite video that you posted? It's kind of tough because it's like asking, who's your favorite child? You love them all. My videos are my babies. So my favorite type of video that I posted will have to do with singing because I'm an artist and I like to sing. So all my singing videos are like my favorite videos. Who are your role models? My role models are God, always number one, my mom and my uncle. What advice would you give to your past self? The advice that I would give to my past self is to celebrate the small wins, enjoy the journey, and to not think too hard and just have more fun. Which one of your accomplishments are you proudest of? My most proudest accomplishment is buying my mom a house. You know, I've been in LA for eight years, you know, grinding, struggling, you know what I'm saying, getting through it and to be able to buy my mom a house and just to see her face just brighten up is probably one of my favorite moments and one of my biggest accomplishments. Who is one celebrity you would like to collaborate with or spend a day with? Alive would probably have to be Will Smith. I would love to hang out with Will Smith and just, I don't know, just talk about acting and just the experiences that he went through. And dead will have to be Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is one of my favorite people in the whole galaxy. And just to hang out with him and talk about music and create, probably be one of the best days of my life. <laughs> if you can meet any three people, dead or alive, who would you want to meet? Well, you guys already know this answer. Dead would be Michael Jackson. He's one of my biggest inspirations and I would love to just have a conversation about music and creating and dancing and to do some TikTok videos with him. Um, my second person will be my one of my ancestors. That'd be cool to talk about my history and my past and to, to know a little bit more about my background. The third person probably be, ooh, is a battle between Timbaland and Will I Am. Those are like my top two favorite producers. Which people or accounts are your favorite to follow on social media? Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is one of my favorite people to follow right now. I love how he's grown, he's showing a lot of positivity, and he's really inspiring like a lot of people would just his way of living and just the, the quotes and expressing his spirituality. Like, I, I think that, you know, he's one of my favorite people for sure. If you could take control of anyone's Instagram account for one day, who would it be and why? Probably take over Kim Kardashian's Instagram. Y'all know how many followers Kim has? Like, I would literally go through and DM every single celebrity that I like and say, yo, collaborate with Nathan Davis Jr. And I would shout my music out every single day. So yo, Kim, if you need me to take control of your Instagram account, I got you. What would be the one superpower you would choose to have? Well, Spider-Man is one of my favorite superheroes, so I would love to be the black Spider-Man, Miles Morales. So if y'all need Miles Morales, and you need a perfect person for it, this guy right here. So call me Marvel, I got you. What is something most people who follow you don't know about you? Well, I love cartoons. Like I'm really into animation and it's weird. Like I can literally watch Kung Fu Panda and go in my room and make a fire beat and make a fire song. That doesn't have anything to do with it, but it's just something about animation that just sparks my creativity. How do you like to spend your spare time? I like to spend a lot of my spare time in the studio. I love creating music, producing beats, and just working. What are your favorite movies of all time? Ooh, so many to choose. But my favorite trilogy of all time is Rush Hour. I love how they mix drama and action and Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker's chemistry together is just so amazing. And Chris Tucker is actually one of my favorite actors slash comedians of all time. So if y'all need a new Rush Hour part four and Chris Tucker needs a son, choose me, man. If you were stranded on an island and could only take three objects, what would they be? I'd probably take my hair pick, my cell phone, and a bottle of water. The reason why I chose those three objects, because they're super important to me. I like to make sure my hair looks good. I like to be on my phone so I can call some help or I can make some videos about where I'm at on this island. And number three, water. You need water to survive. When was the time in your life you feel like you were at a crossroads and how did you decide what to do? A time in my life that I felt like I was at a crossroads would have to be when COVID hit. 
that time was difficult because the acting industry shut down and that was really my only source of income. And TikTok actually saved my life because it helped me rebuild my confidence. I was able to create the content that I wanted to create and just really showcase who I am. Do you have any upcoming projects? Yes, I have a lot of music that I am dropping soon on my Spotify, check it out, at NDJ. And I have music on my YouTube coming soon, Nathan Davis Jr. And all my social media accounts, Nathan Davis Jr. NDJ. And I just finished a TV show that should be dropping sometime next year. I don't know when this video is dropping, but 2022 is when you're gonna see the show. What's up, y'all? That is the last question of the day. I had so much fun and I can't wait to see you guys again. Thank you so much, Famous Birthdays, for hitting me up. And yeah, see y'all later.